welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. As part of our focus on Long Island higher education, we went to Stony Brook to meet Stony Brook University President Samuel L. Stanley Jr. You know, I'm an MD by training and actually had a career primarily as a biomedical researcher and was really happy doing that. And then at some point in time, I received a very large grant from the federal government and I got engaged in administration. And I discovered I came to a point where I actually cared more about helping other people succeed than I cared about my own research. And once I reached that point, that kind of drew me further and further into administration, but also into education. His focus is to put a quality college education within reach of the masses. Our students come uh, from economically disadvantaged backgrounds, many of them, many of their first generation to go to college. And I really like that narrative. That's what public university is supposed to do. We're supposed to help people have access, but access to excellence. Hands down, Stony Brook University's strength is research. We care a lot about generating knowledge. We care a lot about the exploration of critical issues uh, in science, uh, in the humanities, and social studies. All of those things are happening on the campus all the time. We have students at, at any one time from more than 100 countries. But we also draw a lot from Long Island, from Queens, from the Bronx, from Brooklyn. Um, we have a great connection with China in part because of Cian Yang, the famous physicist who won the Nobel Prize uh, and went back to China. Everybody in China knows that from their textbooks. Cian Yang, Stony Brook University Nobel Prize. We have a campus on Korea as well, so that helps us. So by giving students here the opportunity to really meet, live with, and understand people from cultures other than their own, I think it's a great part of the education process. Stony Brook has built strategic partnerships with other regional research organizations. A lot of regions of the country want to be centers for economic development and for research. But we're really fortunate because we have three anchor institutions. So Stony Brook University, AAU, Association of American Universities, the 62 top research universities in the country. We're really proud to be a member of that. Brookhaven National Laboratory, the only Department of Energy laboratory in the Northeast, brings in $700 million or roughly a year annually from the federal government. And then Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. And that's really the leading molecular biology private laboratory institute in the country. The goal of this partnership is to attract and retain the best minds. We want to create the kind of ecosystem where the companies and the ideas that we're developing right here on Long Island stay on Long Island. Because right now, many as you know, depart. In addition, the university puts great emphasis on the arts. On the art side, we do manage the Pollock Krasner House, where um, Jackson Pollock, you know, one of the leading artists in the 20th century, did his work. The floor of his workshop looks like a Pollock painting because of the drips he did. It, it's, it's spectacular. The Stoller Center is a community center, um, really. It's a university center, but it's also a community center. So the arts are a vital part of what we do. And they're another way in which both to engage our students as well as engage the community. The Seawolves' appearance in the College World Series gave Stony Brook recognition that even the Nobel Prize couldn't deliver. At one point, we were the number one trend on Twitter uh, with Stony Brook baseball. That's incredible. Um, when I would travel around the country wearing some Stony Brook gear, people would say, oh, Stony Brook, I know. So our national awareness, I think, increased dramatically. And we actually did a study that showed we had literally millions of dollars in the equivalent of ad time associated with that event. With a student enrollment of more than 24,600, the university has a $5 billion economic impact on the region. We are the largest single side employer on Long Island. Um, and of course, we co-manage Brookhaven National Laboratory, which is the second largest single side employer on Long Island. So between the two of us, it's a big economic impact and one I'm very proud of. And people may not always be so aware of that, you know, that this university is actually, you know, such an economic behemoth. And where does Samuel Stanley see Stony Brook University in 2020? So in 2020, I'd like to see Stony Brook University as one of the top 20 uh, or 25 research universities in the country. Um, we've moved up uh, since I came. We're up to 38 now. It's an ambitious goal. There's a lot of people between us. And we're really pleased with the support we've had from the state in trying to move us forward.